I'm going to show you how to make an old pair of jeans into an upcycled full length apron. So you're going to cut across the top of your jeans, across the top of your leg near the crotch. You need a 34 inch length. Then you're going to cut down the inside seam. And this then should give you a rectangle of fabric. A rough rectangle of fabric so let's just neaten that up so we're going to cut that um seam allowance out from that under seam because that's bulk we don't need and then we're going to cut a straight line getting rid of that crotch area there and then we're going to cut off the hem of the jeans these this hem is very raggedy obviously you could keep it as a feature but i'm personally going for a straight flat edge along the bottom of the apron Right, so now we've got a piece of fabric, but it doesn't lie flat because of this curved seam on the other side. So we're just going to straighten that out. I'm using a quilter's ruler and toner's chalk to mark a straight line, which I'm going to pin and stitch. And then once you've done that, you're going to cut the excess fabric off and just zigzag those raw edges. This is going to be on the inside, so you won't see it. So fold your fabric in half properly, mark 11 inches down from the top and four inches in from your folded central seam. This is gonna be where you're gonna mark your curved armhole. So you're just doing this freehand. The reason we folded the fabric is so that we get a nice symmetrical shape either side of the apron. So once you're happy with this, you're gonna cut through both layers of fabric. So now we're going to have a flat apron shaped piece of fabric ready for a pocket. So I'm using leather. I'm going for six and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Again, I'm using quilters room to mark this out and then I'll cut it out. So for this apron I'm using leather for the pocket and for the ties and the, the neck band. So because it's leather I can't pin it in place because I don't want additional holes. Because if you put a pin in then those holes are there permanently. So I'm using fabric tack glue down the side seams and along the bottom. This is positioned, this pocket is, the top of the pocket is positioned 15 inches from the top of the apron. Fabric tack is great because it does adhere leather and denim quite nicely. An alternative is you could use your jean pockets if you wanted and put them on the front. You could unpick them from your original jeans and reattach them. Or you could go for a, a fabric pocket where you'd um, hem and then put into place. As you see, I'm being quite careful here. I don't want to get glue everywhere. So as you can see, I'm using the ruler as a guide. Just smoothing that down and I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm just going to top stitch that in place. So I'm using a denim thread with a leather needle. And I've practised on some spare fabric, some spare bit of the jeans and spare bit of leather first to check that my machine was happy to sew through it. If yours isn't, don't worry about it. You've glued it in place and it, and it should hold. Now we're going to use bias binding to finish those raw edges along the edge of the apron. So you're going to fold it in half encasing that raw denim edge. I'm just folding over the end here which I'll then tuck, when I get right round, I'll tuck the raw end in underneath this folded edge here to get a neat finish. So I'm pinning this all the way round and then once I've done that, to be honest, I'm gonna hand tack it. Um, I was um, taught to say where you did very large running stitches by hand to hold things in place. And then machine stitch all round to secure in place. If your denim is 
very stretchy. Mine is, and I've not videoed this bit, but on the back of the denim apron, I've put a quarter of an inch strip of iron-on interfacing just to stop the denim stretching. As I say, the bias binding into place. The next step is to sew on four buttons, obviously two at the top of the apron and two buttons by the, the corners under the, the arm spaces. I'm going for a cross um, on the sewing with a, a thread which you can see. Not do it really matters, but and then to attach your denim ties, which are one inch wide, twenty five inches long for the waist ties and thirty nine inches for the neck. I'm cutting a slit in the leather the width of the button and then just placing it over on the neck band i'm doing two slits so it's an adjustable neck strap so that's just one button hole on the other side there'll be two so you have it one finished denim apron i'll put the measurements below in the description along with a link to a blog post if you prefer written instructions don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching